What is up? What is up? Um, you know what? I've been getting requests about doing like a vlog once in a while. I figure why not? Um, I get you a little insight on me, what I do day to day basis. Right now I'm just in my office. Can't really show what I'm doing here. I know you guys have been asking for vlogs and uh, maybe I'm gonna do them time to time. I'm really busy, really busy day to day basis. So that's why you really usually don't vlog. There ain't much for me to vlog, but you know, doesn't hurt to try. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm doing the front face of the camera on my phone, and I know it's stupid. I'm gonna get a rig where I can hold the phone, so it's like steady instead of the damn thing shaking. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be stupid. But what I've been doing, uh, well, I pretty much just worked on the weekend, and I'm at work now again because I'm always working. And uh, for whatever reason, on Saturday morning I woke up, and uh, yeah, Saturday morning I woke up to a fucked up back. I don't know what happened to my lower back, so I went and bought some of this stuff. Icy hot patches, so I put this shit on my back. Never used them before, so hopefully they work. <laughs> it, it, it is quite annoying, quite annoying. I haven't hurt my back in years, I would say. I mean, I mean I've heard it, like it tweaked it here and there. Uh, from time to time, but I feel like I feel like I fucking thrown out my back, but I can still walk because I'm not a bitch. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, I can still kind of walk, but I, I'm telling you, when I wake up in the morning, I'm walking with a hunch and partial time at work, and then throughout the day, I guess I warm up and I can walk. So there we go. But yeah, I'm trying this. Uh, how many how many stuffs in here? Fuck it, I don't know. Last eight hours it says eight hours it lasts. So. This shit better fucking fix my back. I got workout today. I got chest, and uh, you know we'll go show a little bit of what I do at the gym later. Yeah, so feta cheese because it's good fats. I need to buy some, um, some eggs and get some organic eggs. What I eat in the morning. I do a type of thing where I do an intermediate fasting. Ooh, there's a sexy woman over there. I see she's fucking hot. Looks like she just came from the gym. So I get feta cheese, some olives. Um, some veggies from an omelet, organic eggs. I eat a big omelet and I do intermediate fasting throughout the day. Well, got what I needed. Feta cheese, hella fucking good. This is good stuff. The good stuff. My gym in the back. Can't wait to go work out. Don't know how I'm gonna work out with a fucked up back right now though. But feta cheese. Bought that scarf on this delicious, delicious omelet. I grill up some tomatoes. I put some avocados, feta cheese in here. Ate a omelet to so I get my game. I don't know about you guys, but um, whenever I have spare time in my office, I like to just sit back and clear my mind, get away from social media, and just think and reflect back on myself on pretty much um, everything I've been doing up until now. And, um, you know, Everything that's shaped me as a person I am today. So what does that mean? <laughs> well, I'll get into these like kind of deep thought processes at times. And, you know, I'll think back at like, you know, the grief I've been through in life. Like death of my father. He was only 59 when he passed away. Closest family member to me. Um, you know, the heartache I've gone through with, uh, you know, uh, I guess relationships in the past, you know, that pretty much has like, like wisened me as a man, essentially, you know, because uh, relationships will do that. They'll keep you, they will get you, they'll get you wisened fast. They'll, they'll make you smart to some things in, in situations of life. Uh, yeah, it's funny. Relationships can be a funny thing. Uh, how they work out. <laughs> And you know, uh, all the suffering and you know, depression and whatever else, you know, that you know, you know, that makes life fucking hard. And despite all that, I'm still growing as a person, I'm still growing as a man. So, never said I was perfect. That's fucking, no one's perfect, all right? <laughs> Nobody, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Honestly, I'm a firm believer that shit happens in life for a reason. No joke. I completely think things happen in life for a reason. They do. Things happen in life for a reason for good things. So what what could that mean exactly? 
Okay, I listed a few, uh, multiple things. So, even though I knew when my dad was going to pass away, like, even though it happened drastically, I knew it was going to happen. Okay? I just knew. And it was a tough thing to deal with. And I'll, I'll go into that another time. But, you know, let's go talk about relationships. Fell relationships, okay? Even though they were fucking great at the time, the end did, you know. And then, um, I don't like when people, I don't like these blaming games to blame, oh, who's to blame for the relationship going bad? You know what? It could be on both sides. Think about this in life. So, even if it's not your fault, take a negative and turn it to a positive, all right? That's what I like to do in life. Whenever something negative happens, or there's a situation or a problem at hand, I try to figure out the solution or like how to better myself to say a failed relationship, okay? So a failed relationship, what could I have done to uh, made the situation better for it to not have gone the way it did? And you know what? Sometimes it's just going to end, no matter what. Yeah, at the time you thought, this is the one, whatever. But now, for me, now I'm off doing bigger and better things because of this. Not because of it, but because that happened, one thing happened, it led me to another direction in life. Okay? So think about it like this, guys, in life. Okay? You thought you were destined to do one thing and stuff doesn't pan out. Say you were wanted this job or a certain job career. You want to go to this college, okay? Or you thought you want to get married to this one chick and shit does not happen, okay? Does not happen. And I'm rambling, I know. <laughs> this is the thing of the vlog, right? We're supposed to ramble? Thoughts? Okay, I'll get better at these as I do these, okay? I apologize. And I'm going to get them out, I promise, so this shit doesn't shake so much. So, as I was saying, Okay, what was I saying? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> These are tough. So, as I was saying, those didn't happen. So, try to take those negatives and flip them to a positive to be better. So, what I did with myself was, okay, I explored new uh, routes uh, with my spare time. So, I got into doing YouTube and Twitch streaming. So... I focus a lot of my attention to that. I focus also on my fitness and stuff like that, even though I have up and downs with my fitness. I'm not gonna lie. That has always been a thing with me in life. And I'll get, I'll explain that in another video. My uh, trials and tribulations of being fit, trying to be fit, my, uh, my, uh, my problems with uh, my weight issues, you know, because I was mostly fat most of my life. Um, so even though like, my 20s, I'm mostly my 20s, I've been fit. <laughs> There's a couple bad years here, there and there, here and there. But uh, for the most part, I try to keep myself uh, in pretty good shape. Feels good. Uh, you take the take the negative, turn it to a positive. Fitness, YouTube, work, paying off debt, you know, not having bills, being smart, trying to educate yourself more, uh, all kinds of things. So I'm always looking forward to like, goals at hand that I have and trying to accomplish the goals I want and I've set for. And you know what? People tell me all the time, I've accomplished a lot. From my age, they always tell me, people that know me very well, I, I don't really share my personal life too much with you guys, but I want to open up more with you guys. I promise. I promise I will. Uh, there's just certain things I can't really open up to for a while. Like I was saying, can't really explain too much every facet of my life. But people say I've accomplished so much. Like, bro, Theo, you've done a lot. And I'm like, ah, whatever, you know. Like, is it was is it really that much? Is it really that much? Um, I guess to think about it, at my age, I've done a lot. Uh, I've gotten most of my debt in hand, you know. And I got my career, both my careers, like, set. I got my main job, and I got the YouTube and Twitch. I do mainly for fun is why I do those. Just remember guys, I just want to say this. Hard work does pay off. Depends on what you're doing though, okay? Like me, yeah. Like I did the YouTube and I'm doing the YouTube and all that because I've already for so many years have been like dove myself into social media and I've already done like the cosplay stuff in the past and all that. I've already had an established fan base. And you know, me working harder at that with social media has 
dive myself further into YouTube, okay? But like, th that's what I mean by hard work. I've always been working on particular things and the harder you work at it, the more it will continue. This isn't something that happened in the course of a year or so. I've been doing this for the course of a decade now. Ever since social media has been a thing, I've been on it, I've been doing work with it, all kinds of stuff. I know social media very well. Uh, same thing with my bro, Barack Obama. Like, he knows more about it than I do. Uh-oh. But, you know, like, find something that you really want to do that you can accomplish and work hard at it. Because hard work does pay off. It really does. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> uh, I rambled enough, I guess. So, um, I guess I could go to the gym shortly. Yeah, maybe we'll go to the gym. Well, I just finished my workout. It's getting pretty late. Now I'm heading home so I can go stream. It's a typical day for me. I'm up by like 5 a.m. in the morning. I get ready for work. I record some videos, edit, stream for a little bit for like a couple hours. And um, ton, tons of stuff I do every day. <laughs> but I had a good workout. My back's been bugging me. I put, I, I got those icy hot pads I was using. They seem to help out a lot today. I'll definitely say the worst part about driving home for me is every time I go home around this time, the sun's always blinding me. Usually traffic's way worse, but right now it's fine. But yeah, the sun's always blinding me. Every time. Freaking, it's terrible, it's terrible. Oh yeah, it's salad time. Dinner, dinner. This salad's hella bomb. And now it's protein time with my chicken breast. Eight ounce chicken breast, so I get my protein in. Nice grilled one. So I'm about to use a knife. I can't cut it with this. It's too thick. Oh, I can cut it. Nice thick piece. Look at that. Pretty damn good. Well, that's a small portion of what I do day to day basis. But anyways, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for that vlog. I forgot to end it the other day. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the vlog, let me know in the comments. I'll improve on it. Like I said, I'm gonna get a mount and all that. And uh, I'm going to improve on the vlog and I'll see I'll see what else I can do with them. So anyways, guys, if you liked the video, be sure to like, uh, comment below what you think. And uh, yeah, we'll try to do these more often. See ya.